Yo, what is up guys and welcome in this new video So today we got some more track they are The big man himself has been hard at work on the game physics So I wanted to show you guys what he has changed So as always you will find the change log down below As well as some gameplay that I'm gonna be dropping down below But first I wanted to show you guys the first gear and helmet that I have made for the game. I also modeled this helmet, so that's why it's not like super perfect looking. It's my very, very first model. So this will be released when you guys get the same version that I'm running. So with the same new menus and stuff like that. So without further ado, let's jump into the track and let's show you some gameplay. Okay, here we are on track. So a couple of changes that have been made to the uh, current physics is how the uh, suspension is reading bumps because we've had a little bit of an issue with some of the new systems that were implemented and they were reading like the uh, bumps in a weird way and they were kicking you and the front end would start just bouncing around like the uh, front forks had no oil in them. But now the work that has been done to it is pretty much fix the problem so you don't have the front end that kind of wobbles around anymore also another big change has been made on still the suspension department but under the uh, heavy compression we had an issue where the bike and the rider under heavy compression instead of slowing you down and rebounding they were just compressed and stick to the ground and kind of kind of passing through a little bit so that gave you a little bit of a weird feeling like you weren't getting punished you would just pretty much fly straight through big jumps and stuff like that without any repercussion so that has been fixed there has also been a lot of work done on the rider movement and rider effect on the bike especially in the pelvis area some work done on the whips but we still have to uh, get in on them and actually make them perfect but as of right now the work that has been done is really really enjoyable and has made everything more connected like from the ground to the air it feels more connected it doesn't feel like two different systems so i'm really really proud of that i'm, I'm really enjoying how the game is feeling right now there's also some work uh, some work done to the um, engine department and the power delivery we're still in early development for that it still needs a little bit of tweaking especially on the clutch side of things but we are improving very very good i'm really really happy on how we are at well, on where we are at right now with the uh with the engine delivery we just need a little bit more power especially on the 254 stroke the bikes feel a little bit um toned down like the engine feels a little bit toned down especially when you're going uphill like this uphill for example it's still losing a lot of power towards the end which is still weird and we need to figure it out but we will get to that for sure the erosion has also been changed we don't have erosion with the tire slip anymore but we have the erosion with the bike weight so pretty much wherever you go and you land and you turn and you break it's going to erode the terrain that that's also going to depend on uh, the track maker how much he road he is going to set up i don't know if in the future we will have a slider for erosion for all the tracks so we can decide how much erosion we want or if it's going to stay up to the track maker to decide for us or we can decide if we make a track whatever so there's also been added a new animation on the whip i don't know if you notice it yet guys is the outside leg kind of stepping out of the peg so you're not glued to the pegs like you were before which makes it for a more realistic uh, visual feel that's really really good it doesn't stick out too much it doesn't stick out too little i feel like it's a good good way to uh to have it right now let, but let me know in the comments if you would like to have it in any other way and as you can see in the takeoff of that jump we are starting to get rotted i purposely did not make this track get super super rough when i made it in the editor because the erosion we had before wasn't really uh, realistic in my opinion because the tire slip was having way too much effect on the um, 
on the erosion and the bike passing and the bike weight had no effect at all so I'm probably gonna go back and change it and have it a little bit more heavy but yeah over oh also we had another super big change that I almost forgot to tell you which is a lot of handlebar uh, changes and a lot of turning changes so now the bike is going to turn more on the yaw axis so it's going to rotate more in the cornering without leaning as much so it's gonna give you a lot more feel like on the bike stick as before where before you had like the bike leaning down a lot but it wasn't really cornering like you had to really kind of put it in the corner and struggle a little bit as a, a, and and right now it feels a lot more precise and connected to your inputs and stuff like that so that's a very good improvement there as well and as you can see the leg stepping out and in the future we're going to start working a lot more on the whips because I'm really really into whips as you know guys I've said it a lot of times even in other games that I played whips are super super important for me so we're going to uh, start to work on them pretty soon and I will keep you guys updated on that as well of course but yeah as of right now the changes that have been made are super sick I'm really really enjoying them let me know down below in the comments what you think about them and I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will catch you in the next one peace